Hello, and welcome to the Get Lean and Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. I'm a certified health coach, trainer, and author. And this podcast is for middle-aged men and women looking to optimize their health and get their bodies back to what it once was 10 to 15 years ago. I will give you simple, actionable items to get long-term sustainable results. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. All right. Welcome to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. My name is Brian Grin. Hope you had a great weekend, long Labor Day weekend, spent with some time with some family and friends and enjoyed some good weather and food. And we're back at it now on Tuesday. So happy Tuesday if you're listening to this then. And hopefully you listen to my interview with Kyle Mamunis. We touched on you know all about his background of trying all different diets. Uh, he has his PhD in nutritional sciences and has done some research and some self-experimentation. So pretty interesting guy. We talked about fats. We talked about sugar. We talked about the diet that makes mice lean, endotoxemia, gut health, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, check out my interview with Kyle, episode 284. On today's micro podcast, went back and forth on what I want to talk about today. And I wanted to give due justice and just give you a brief overview of the step ladder system, my new book, and whether or not it's a fit for you, I think it might be. Um, it's something I put a lot of time and effort into over the last eight months, felt like even longer than that. Um, you can get it in paperback, which if you're watching on YouTube, there it is, or you can get it um, paperback on Amazon or stepladdersystem.com. You can get it as a PDF. So a lot of people like to consume information in different ways. I'll put links in the show notes for that. But the whole idea with my book was to try to get people into this sort of action-taking mode. I think there, you can consume so much information out there, especially in the health field, that a lot of times you can consume this information, but that doesn't necessarily mean to lead to action. And so this is almost like, this book is like a, a workbook. This is something that you can come back to and fill out you know, you're going to do assessments. You're going to figure out your why. You're going to go through all the different steps that I would take a client through, my sort of system, my six month system, and it's put into this book. So, yeah, it's there to get results. And I thought today would be a good thing just to go through sort of the high level of what's in the book and why and whether or not it's a fit for you or not. Because I've, you know, we all know that there's plenty of health books out there. So I didn't want to just throw another health book out into the world. I actually wanted to put it up together sort of almost like a workbook style um, and to help people actually like get results for the upcoming months and years to come. So high level, you know, we go through my system. Um, and so part one of the book is like laying the foundation, right? And then part two, we sort of get into this six pillar blueprint. Part three, we're going to move away from the book and into your life with like a 21 day plan. Because one of the things I think is really important when you're starting out anything is to get early wins. Early wins create confidence, build momentum. And that's something that I work a lot on with clients is, you know, yeah, I have a six month program, but you know, that first month, three weeks, three to four weeks, I mean, that is so critical and crucial. And just to stay on target onto what you know what your goals are and also to get some small wins. So we talk about that. We also go through sort of an assessment at the end. Um, so I, I think the main thing from this book is is I take you through sort of my system, but also and more importantly, is you're gonna sort of do your own assessment. You know, what's your why, right? What's your why? Where are you at right now? Let's create major clarity and get crystal clear on that. And then from there, we're going to get, we're going to do some small changes that are going to create big results. Um, and I'm not saying, when I say big results, I'm not saying, oh, you're going to lose a hundred pounds and, or whatever, 20 pounds in a, in a month, right? Like that, that to me, for most people, I think it's a little unrealistic, but we're, it, I call it my small changes, big results master plan in the sense that we're going to identify those major culprits, those low-hanging fruits that make the biggest impact in your health and get you results right away. So 
that's sort of the first two steps. Then we take you through activity upgrade, if you want to say. And and from there, I mean, you know, I had a client, Chris, out in Arizona who wanted to fit working out into a schedule, but like I think he was short sort of unable to do it. I think he had, you know, he had two boys, uh, young boys. He's he was 40 turning 41, realized that he needed to start prioritizing his health. And we started implementing these micro workouts. I'm sure if you listen to enough of my podcasts, you we and with myself and even with Brad Kearns, we talk about these micro workouts. So we we implemented these workouts to fit into his lifestyle. And it sort of changed everything because when you do something like that, you create momentum. And so that almost that like spilled over into other aspects of his life, helped him eat better, so on and so forth. So I worked with Chris for six months and it was great. Um, he was in somewhat good shape as it was, but it was starting to fall off and we got him to lose a little bit of weight, but more importantly, change his body composition. I think recomposition is most important. Put on muscle, decrease a little bit of fat and build confidence. And that's what happened with Chris. So after that sleep, like a superhero, you know, for someone like Chris, sleep wasn't a big thing. He actually slept pretty well, which, you know, having two young boys. You would think most people don't great, get great sleep with two young kids, but um, sleep wasn't a big priority for him. But for some people and most people, it is. So we talk about managing a simple routine. And this is something that um, we we get into more in the book. But I think it's just important to not sleep and not, not sleep on that, right? Not forget that this should be priority number one for most people. Um, stress management was another big one. Yeah, I've had clients where we just have to come up with a routine in order to find a practice that'll help downregulate your system, um, you know, and connect you to the present. Easier said than done. Uh, we get into more details in the book about that, uh, but <clears throat> really important. Stress is, you know, sort of that that next step. Sleep and stress are huge, and then we lastly we get into nutrition and meal timing. And the one thing with this book that I didn't want to do is be dogmatic about a certain way of eating. I think there's a lot of different ways to eat. There's a lot of different ways potentially to even lose weight. Um, <clears throat> there's people who's, who've lost weight on high carb, on low carb, on vegetarian, on pescatarian, on carnivore. So it's all about just finding what fits your lifestyle and sort of like your belief system. So those are the main things we get into into the book. Um, it's pretty cool. I'll show you a little picture if you're watching on YouTube. Um, you know, there, there's, there's check, there's checklists, there's way to ways to sort of keep score. And then at the end, we saw where are you at now? And then there's another sort of six pillar assessment six months later, and then one year later. And it's all based around the six pillars I just talked about creating clarity, small changes, big results, getting real sleep chilling and relaxing, eating to live, and then moving like you mean it, which is just activity upgrade. So again, I thought it would be beneficial to just give you sort of a brief overview of my book. I don't do a ton of self-promoting and haven't taken on any sponsors. Um, if you have questions about the book, you feel free to email me, brian at briangrid.com. Or if you go to the stepladdersystem.com, the, the website, it really explains what's inside the book, just like I talked about today. Um, so the bottom line, it's not too late. Wherever you're at um, in your health journey, it's never too late. And I just you know, wanted to gear this book for people to, to actually get results and to take action. So that's all I want to touch on today. Um, have a great rest of the week and uh, look forward to Friday with another great interview. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for listening to the Get Lean, Eat Clean podcast. I understand there are millions of other podcasts out there and you've chosen to listen to mine and I appreciate that. Check out the show notes at briangrin.com for everything that was mentioned in this episode. Feel free to subscribe to the podcast and share it with a friend or family member that's looking to get their body back to what it once was. Thanks again and have a great day.